Man. Oh. You just, that is a wailing good time, guys. Welcome here. We're ready to do some streaming today. Let's have some fun. We're going to continue our romp through uh, Northern Europe. Uh, by Europe, I do mean, uh, well, not Northern England. Uh, Northern Great Britain? Isn't Great, Great Britain in what includes... Um, <clears throat> Uh, what's it called? Great Britain is what includes Scotland, correct? Someone can correct me on that, and if you're Scottish, you can insult me. I, I deserve it. Let's go ahead. We're getting things switched on over here. Ooh, ooh. wait for the program to respond. Oopsies. What's up, Thomas Leaf? Man dead. How are you? C bet. What's up? Mess in the playlist, huh? Powell. Uh. Can you tell me, the United Kingdom includes Ireland, Chris. Great Britain is just England and uh, Scotland. And then England is just England. I think. Because United Kingdom's the Union Jack, which is the combination of all three. Scotland, England, Ireland, Wales equals UK. There it is, yeah, see? You, see, wh why did you, 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 you did it wrong, Chris? Everybody in chat, Mention my brother at Chris Cap and tell him thank you for the sweet tunes. That's him shredding on the Gita L. Johnson. That's him playing the little uh, synthesizer, going all crazy, and it's the rocks like uh, ten thousand boners. Breaking during playing. All right, Paul. I'll take a look at it after the stream and fix that for you, man. That's not like a thirty second. It's like a fifteen second. Like maybe ten. You know, when I was going to England, like, pretty consistently, and I could hear their accents, it was I could, like, do impersonations of them, like, uh, like, the Sussex or, like, this Essex accent, or versus, like, someone from, oh, man, what's it called? Somerset, like, all that stuff. Yeah, 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 well, by the way, yeah, if you guys haven't, if you haven't, if you like the music in the intros, you're, you're jonesing on the retro wave we got going here. Please go and check out my brother's uh, SoundCloud. You can uh, listen to all the tracks that we put up on the stream. Try Cro I've, I've done Cockney. I mean, Cockney is like Cockney is like what I think a lot of people think is a British accent most of the time. You know, it's like it's like posh or Cockney in most people's mind. What's up, Anthony? How are you doing, man? So Great Britain encompasses the entire island, but doesn't include Northern Ireland. Oh, I see. Yeah, coming from the guy who has like the history lesson at the beginning of all of my uh, streams, I'm like, yeah, guys, I don't even know where the hell geographically we are right now. I've been huffing turpentine since 2 p.m. Orcs sound like British football hooligans. Yeah, all orcs have that same like. Oi, would you? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jorvik will finally is finally gonna get it in, man. They're gonna get they're gonna get uh just turned over and done dry. You know, someone's gonna have to spit on the the brown knot and tell them how they're gonna have to jam it in. What? Okay, so Great Britain just does not include Southern Ireland. I got Ireland, I got you. More work. It, you guys have all seen the video of uh, the Lord of the Rings Urukai dubbed over with just normal voices. Like, rather than it being like, man flesh. Just like, oh, hey, you smell that? Yeah, man flesh. Oh, meat's back on the menu, boys. It's all just generic deadpan voice. Okay, so we got a couple low control and counties. We got uh, some places to give away. Just want me to raid? No, we're not gonna go raid our bros. We're gonna. Hopefully, we can get them into. God, dude, look at that guy. He is just pox ridden, and disgusting. We still need to. We're still doing a little sway campaign on him, right? Aren't we? Oh, we were. Oh, we we 
tested what sending a gift would do. So no, we'll just do the sway. 48%. That's kind of rough and tumble, man. That's actually a good point. No one does 1066 France, but usually what they'll do is OS. A lot of people will do the Duke of Aquitaine uh, because he has... Dude, look at this guy. <laughs> that is a cool look. Reminds me of uh, What's-His-Nuts in Kingdom of Heaven. Uh, Fight Club... Edward Norton, Edward Norton, Edward Norton. North Gaelic and Islandic in my latest update. As, as a culture update, man dead? Is that what you're saying? You really want to sway a lunatic? I always want to sway a lunatic. King Baldwin, correct. Dude, like, just some of the lines in that movie are so good. Like, did you not spend enough time next to a good king to know what one is? Like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, we can't cock... Well, I, I think actually I can conquer Annandale. Yeah, because they're autonomous. So I can declare war on it. Because I think... Yeah, the Duchy of Strathclyde... Would include this. And I don't know... Does... So... What's important to note is obviously, you know, I've done tons and tons and tons of... Tutorial content on Crusader Kings. But there are still little tiny things that I've never really experimented with. Uh, an example of this is right here. So with Strathclyde, this is a, an individual I would like to offer vassalization to. I want to just simply vassalize him and not conquer him, which I am totally capable of doing. It wouldn't even be a hard thing to do. But to just kind of bring him uh, under tow quickly, you know, actually kind of the more I look at him, he would be a terrible vassal. Well, either way, either way, um, the question remains, if I own land that is de jure theirs, does that increase or decrease the likelihood of them wanting to become vassalized? Yeah, uh, Mandate has a really good point. He, uh, and this is something that we, we I've, I haven't really talked about in our history lessons. So he said, you're focusing on an area I was really annoyed about in Vanilla and Fixed It Release. Galloway and Strathclyde were separate realms and shouldn't be together like that. So um, <clears throat> this location for, for Strathclyde is essentially the way it is in 1066, not the way it would be in in uh, 867. Strathclyde was actually this portion right here more, and less of this top portion. As I believe you called it, uh, it's it's Galloway. This is Galloway. Galloway is just was just the peninsula. Oh, okay. Yeah, because from what I understand, this was Strathclyde. Avery Powers, thank you very much, man. $10 donation saying, hey, sorry for missing all the streams. Was sick for a while and I work night shift and have slept through the past few, sadly. Glad to hear about you getting to see your family soon. Well, thank you very much, Avery. I really appreciate that, man. How are you, how are you feeling, dude? Is it just Was it just a normal sickness or was it the sickness? <clears throat> Edie, thank you very much. How are you? Um, you going to have some fun with those ditches? That's kind of a hell of a Valentine's Day gift. Like, hey, for a... Uh... Valentine's Day, let's go dig some ditches. Lesson, what's up, bro? Lesson, I have a question for you. Has Mexico said when 1.60 was due out? I would assume in the next, like, two, three weeks. <clears throat> what's up, Vitze? One point five nine is next. Okay. <clears throat> I 
Well, good to hear, Avery. I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're feeling better on the on the men, dude. It's a it's a scary time for anyone to get sick. I couldn't, like, I have hypochondria. Well, like, it's more like I'm not a germaphobe, but if I got sick, I'm like, oh, this is cancer. But as soon as I'm actually like in the like once I'm like okay now I'm actually like I'm I'm in the I'm really sick now time to go and deal with it. Um, I'm usually fine, but soon like those initial like stages of like getting sick and not knowing what it is, I'm like oh god this could. This, I'm, I'm sep uh, this is sepsis. I'm sepsis. Uh, this is got I've got sepsis. Council like panel lord isn't great. Thanks, Fussin. I appreciate that, dude. This, fixing this. Okay, good. <laughs> Spot on, man, dead. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not a germaphobe. Like, I'll, I'll eat something off the ground. Like, I'm pretty stupid. But I got Guillain-Barre syndrome when I was in high school, and ever since then, I, ha I haven't been to, like, a doctor since I had Guillain-Barre syndrome. I'm terrified of doctors now. Because now I'm like, oh yeah, it's nothing big. Now I'm afraid the doctor's gonna be like, oh yeah, uh huh, um, sickle cell anemia, and you also have bone marrow disease, and your hair is falling out. I'm like, it's been falling out, doc. You're a terrible doctor. Okay, so let's take a look here. Um, we can. We can forego giving these domains away for a little bit just to kind of smash out Jorvik here. And this will be a real quick snatch and grab. Um, where's their ally? Oh, all the way over there? King Oric, thank you very much, man. <clears throat> okay, um, so let's see here. Yeah, I wish I could just, like, hey. Just vassalize, buddy. Do I have any, is there another kingdom down here? Oh, England's the next kingdom. England's actually a huge kingdom. I mean, it makes sense that this is the next kingdom. And then Wales, and then Ireland. And I would need... For Britannia, we need seven more. What? No. Okay, so we need. We just need the whole thing. <laughs> we basically just need the whole thing to declare yourself emperor. And that's our objective, right, guys? Is to become emperor of Britannia. So what I will say is, and what I've kind of noticed and, and kind of like thinking this through, I'm like, man, you know what? <clears throat> Oh, so that's over there. Interesting. We've kind of been making our way through this very quickly, and I think that as soon as we get to all the Anglo-Saxon lands, it's going to become a grind. Because this is going to be an easy pop. This won't be as much. Especially because... Well, it doesn't have any good allies, actually. Wessex will definitely not be easy. East Anglia will be troublesome. Wales in and of itself won't be hard. It'll just be tedious. Ireland might be a good target. Because if I go here... Oh man, all these little tiny duchies. I forgot that Ireland's filled with just duchies and not counties. Like, look at this. This is all... Ugh. Ugh. So we would need to get seven counties... The unfortunate thing, like, okay, so this is a duchy, and it's two counties. We have not gone insular Christianity. Uh, Thomas Gideon, it's okay. It kind of, it goes up and down.
Why is this guy the guy? Why is he my diplomat? Maybe I want to build him out. I mean, I could make this dude my diplomat, but... It might be better to go this route and just and build up his skill. Since he's 44... Well, no, he still hasn't... See, we made this guy... Oh, man! Piglet coming in again! With a massive 500 Swedish Kronu donation. Thank you very much, Piglet. Thank you very, very much, dude. Always just... Sprinkling love on the streams. Very big of you, dude. Thank you so much. And I accidentally booted up Photoshop. Thank you for the donation. Is there a special building there you can make at the holy site? Uh, Flavius, I don't know. We'll take a look together. Oh. <clears throat> so I could make the provost here. Could make this guy the uh that this guy was the peasant leader that that revolted against me but he is compassionate gregarious and brave so he could make for a really good actual um landed individual a vassal here and he doesn't have an actual so i mean this guy doesn't have a lifestyle focus yet so I could assign him as the Chancellor and then land him and then he will immediately switch, well he should very quickly switch over to diplomacy, thus allowing him to become a very good um, diplomat. This guy's 44 and he still has a chivalry focus, so I don't think we're going to see this guy help us out anytime soon. We do need to... Re Piglet is our... The, the next born child is named Piglet. 100%. Internet stability is aces, Andrew. So do you guys agree with that? We'll make uh, the former peasant leader the new diplomat. Um, I could make this guy, but he's the provost. He's already in charge of a republic. Kind of let him do his thing. You know, in this family, it, it absolutely could be. <laughs> Pigletia? Pigletavia? Land of piglets? Cumberland, dude. The Cumberland guy is kind of a machine, too. Jesus. James Mint dropping five dollar donation, saying, "Love these streams." Sad I missed the history lesson. James, you're okay, man. Remember, we we're doing history every other episode, and this will allow us to um, have more people get take advantage of it, and we'll spread the the Scottish history over a longer period of time. Pretty much, what we're going to do next uh, history lesson is go from, we left off with, uh, Duncan the first who becomes, uh, Macbeth, right? I'm sorry. Duncan the first who gets supplanted by Macbeth, Macdonald, and how he becomes a very different ruler than the actual Macbeth of Shakespeare, right? And again, this isn't a theater, so I should be fine. And again, I'm not talking about the Scottish play. I'm talking about the actual historical individual. So again, please theater gods don't strike me down. Now, we, on the next history lesson, will pretty much probably progress right up to the Longshanks into, um, uh, situation, I guess you could say, with the uh, the trouble of succession in the realm of him stepping in, mediating, and assigning a puppet king. You feel like it. Uh... Jose 16, what do you mean? Edie, I did a... Uh... So one of my degrees is in graphic design. The other degree is in theater arts with an em emphasis in improv. And I did Shakespearean acting. Like I did a uh, summer stock for five years, six years. I was in an improv troupe for like 10 years, something like that. No, you, uh, 
Real life Macbeth would did not come around until 1034. Um, okay, so we'll we'll change this guy to him. This will piss him off, but that's okay. So Andrew, uh, just to kind of give you again a, a quick context here, um, we are trying to become the Emperor of Britannia. We're going to reunite. Isn't that a, an actual thing here? No, it's not, but we are going to create the Empire of Britannia. That is our goal, and that is what we shall do. <clears throat> and how I guess how I'm going to marry this with actual history is, if you think of the history of Scotland, which we've been going into and out of, um, Scotland was cut in half from the northern portions by Norse invaders with the very beginning of the uh, um, age of the Viking. Or the Viking Age, with uh, the sack of Iona over here. Where, where, where is it? Where is it? Hebrides. There we go. Bishopric of Iona. There it is. I thought that was down here. With the sacking of Iona, it's like pretty much the beginning of the Viking Age. So, um, are you Flashpoint? No, I love Flashpoint history, though. I've mess. I've I've dropped him a couple uh, comments and messages and told him, hey, you know, I understand and appreciate the history of all on the loose because of you and the Reconquista. But with Scotland kind of cut in half by uh, Norse occupation, it actually made Scotland's history very interesting. It was kind of a constant uh, battle with the Norse, but also it became an enemy of my enemy situation when England unified under um, Athelstan? Athel, Athel fled. Athel, Athelwald. Athel Brabenberg. Athelstan. Athelstan, which is this guy's son. So Alfred the Great's son is the one who actually creates uh, England. We did get a nickname, the Unready, before we un are unfirm or infirm. A Muslim Viking kingdom. That's pretty cool, Sean. It's his grandson? I thought it was his actual son. Man, here I am, trying to teach you guys history. Can't even get the basics right. Okay, so we won't give Lancaster. I will give Kendall out. We'll grant it to... <clears throat> Actually, we're going to go to this menu. It'll make it easier so I don't accidentally mess this up. <clears throat> well, let's arrange him a marriage too. Yeah, let's do... She'll be. She'll be good. She'll be good. They're married, and now we will grant this title. And if I'm going too fast, you want me to help you? Ex uh, want me to explain anything? Please just let me know, guys. I'm more than happy to. <clears throat> What's margin, margin, marginality? What's that? Yeah, right, right. Flavius is like. We're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty, pretty well. Why oh, didn't like me? What was his problem? Oh, tribal. <laughs> Graham, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be, dude. You know, I have another friend named Graham, who's also Scottish. I thought you were him for a second. I was like, oh wait, no, his last name's Mill. Never mind. So that's one of our lands we got to give away. We'll give away Lancaster in a bit, but I think we're good there. And that'll help me too with this dude because this guy's got better skill. Why did he go with the chivalry focus? That's annoying. They they're supposed to go to the focus that best best fits their their lot in life or what they're doing. Like if this guy was just strictly a champion, then it would make sense if he went to chivalry. 
but he's not. He's a chancellor. So that's that shouldn't work like that. Is there a way to make children bishops? I think it, the the computer has to do it. OS, I don't think you can. I think it has to be a like this is the only option, but I don't think I've ever seen it. No, well, that's true. They would typically go with their education focus. Good, good call, Mark. I think that they don't. <clears throat> I think they'll go with uh, their role if they don't have an education focus. <clears throat> Deep fried Mars bar. He is 19 Marshall. Right, so we've unpaused that, finally. We'll give Lancaster away, but I think we just gotta go jump into this war. Invade another duchy, and then we'll give off. We'll give out a ton of things. So the, the one thing I'm a little worried about with Mercia, or butting up this close to Mercia, is I don't want them to push into me. If they do, they do. It's not it's neither here nor there, but I'd prefer to not have to deal with it just yet. But because we will probably have some stabilization issues. But it must be done. God wills it. Okay, so I'm gonna go right. Go down from here. Down from Durham. There's also these locations, which I thought about taking as well. This is all Pan of Scandinavia, huh? Did not know that. Part of the, that's part of the Kingdom of Norway, but it's just the Duchy of Iceland. And these are the Northern Isles, right? Yeah, these are Northern Isles, which are part of Empire of Scandinavia and the Kingdom of Norway. Okay. Um, Daniel, so I've got mods turned on to give us a little bit more fun going on here, like this mod that gives us a bunch of uh, different minor t or a bunch of different titles. I've got the minor titles here that are active. So I try not to do any save scumming. We we try to apply this as if we are playing Iron Man, but we do allow for save scumming to test things and say, hey, let's see how this works. Because I'm really big on trying to do like fun educational style uh, streams, exploring certain options. Like, hey, if you don't know what this does, I'll show you. Or, hey, we'll see how this works um, and see if it makes sense and stuff like that. So it's basically Iron Man, but we wanted to use some mods. No, this is not part of the Britannian Empire at all. It was just another way for me to expand. Yeah, uh, man dead. My my email is my YouTube name at gmail.com. Will Mercia have any lanes? To, uh, that's a good question. Will they have any claims to our... No, it looks like they have claims to Wales and Wessex. So the religion plan, we need to deal with too. Looked at the AI improvement for marriage and learning focus. Make those instances of them make less true. Uh, what are you talking about, James? Did they say that they're doing an improvement for that? Oh, there's a mod for it. Assemble the army. Why is he a high chieftain? I think because he's. I think it's because he's. Uh, what's it called? Tribal. I'm gonna come gorilla pound you, dude. Procedures. We will 
reorganize. See what you said. Ice or er, ooh, uh, what happened? Lasham? Ice Sham? Ice Sham twenty two donated three dollars. Thank you very much, man. L is it is that an I or is that an L? Is it Lasham or Ice Sham? Either way, man. Thank you very very much, dude. Sorry for butchering your name. I promise, my name has been butchered my entire life. <laughs> I understand the pain. Invite Ison. I think we, I think we will. <gasps> my ward, Morma Dryston, has come of age, and it is time he left my care. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Dryston the intricacies of careful planning. All efforts have come to foot. While he has shown himself fully capable of, of petty scheming, few would call it refined, but refinement is not always what you need. Interesting. Oh, you don't have a good opinion of, my, of your liege, huh? You fix that, dude. So, we did that to try and boost his opinion of us. We still have a foreign culture group, and we're going to have that for some time until people slowly convert to Scott. So, that will be an issue we'll deal with. Got him! Ha ha! Salford is my son. Sally's out to Salford. Maimed Gunner Erickson. Why that? The name is a name. I can't remember. Porsche's cap captured. Applewald. Appleword. Appleword. Guys, I'm playing so much Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but I just started playing. Um, like I can't wait to play Odyssey. Or I'm not sorry, not Odyssey. Valhalla after this. Yalmar Hrotherson? Th that little D thing is a TA sound, right? So, uh, Roth Rothyerson? Yalmar Roth Rothyerson? Am I getting it right? Am I doing anything right? Am I ever gonna learn? Honestly, I think we're going to do some some slapping and a crapping on people. Yeah, so I'm I just got to London in um, what's it called? Telson. Aren't you in a famous D and D show on Twitch? <clears throat> Rothar, Rothgar's son. Oh, so is that where Hrothgar comes from, that TH spelling? Is because the anglicized version of that is H R O T H. Rogerson? Off TH. So I believe the D symbol is a hard TH and the th like a P is a soft TH. So th. Like the. <clears throat> Interesting. That's kind of cool. See, I think that's probably one of my favorite things about this game is like learning stuff like that. Like I never would have guessed that kind of stuff. That's why the proper word to say Odin is really Othin. Hmm. Learning something new, guys. With that guy, too. Yalmar here, though. <clears throat> I think he'd be kind of cool to take. This dude, don't really see much use in him, though.
I can't wait till we find out what the new DLC is. Like, <clears throat> I know they said, hey, yeah, DLC's coming, but... Except, yes, I know you don't. Nottingham, what are you doing here? <clears throat> I just started um, on on behest of surreal be surreal beliefs. I started up um, Kingdom Come Deliverance. That game is intricate. Watch it be a music pack. <clears throat> What do I think the DLC will be? Um, honestly, I could see the DLC probably having to do with... Okay, so here's... Unfortunately, gone are the days of me just kind of listlessly thinking things could be something cool. I unfortunately look towards like, okay, what's the, the trend? And the trend right now in gaming and in uh, just pop culture is Vikings. You have... Assassin's Creed Valhalla. You have the most recent version or um, season of the show Vikings. Last Kingdom has got another season coming out. Magic the Gathering just released Kaldheim, a Viking themed game or a Viking themed set. Valheim is the most, one of the biggest and most popular survival um, Minecraft clone games we're out right now, and it's all Viking themed. So I think that they're going to take a DLC. Uh, dude, I'm loving Valheim. Turn and I have been playing until 1.30 in the morning every night. So I think they're going to do a, a Wrath of the Northmen like, or thing. Or they'll do like some sort of druidic thing maybe. Man dead, I know who you're talking about and I totally agree with you. Totally agree with you, man. Um, The, the individual who dies the at the end of season one... Also caught me for at a right field, and I was so upset about it. Oh, God of War too. God of War uh, is Norse, and we've seen like it's really not just been this year; it's been the last two, three years. So I think the first CK3 DLC will be a uh, Wrath of the Northmen. Uh, Warhammer Three is going to be having Kislev, which I know what you're thinking. Kislev's not Norska. Norska is like that typical that that typical um, Norse thing with Norska, but they will be a, probably a big thing in that. Because Kislev's entire history has to do with um, a lot of Norsekin tribe interaction. And on top of it, a lot of what people think is a Norse Viking is actually Kievan Rus. And that is all over here. So, and that, that Kievan Rus heavily influences uh, Kislev. So, I think it's just kind of... I think it's just kind of the direction that it's going to that it's gonna probably be. Supernatural events would be really sick, Mark Gruden. Gyrton. Is it Gyrton or Gruden? Turn and Sotek got me and my wife into Warhammer, and it's been a great. Yeah, man. Who do you think convinced Turn to get out of the tabletop? I'm like, dude, you gotta do it. Dude, you gotta do it. Okay, so let's just keep doing it. I've, I've been playing Warhammer Fantasy since I was like 9 or 10 and 40k since I was 10 or 11. I, I remember like seeing the, the 40k box set Dark Millennium and being like, this is so cool. The art is so insane. I remember the very first... I remember being hung up on a box of High Elf Archers. I just thought they were so cool looking. Who is this guy? Just a dude? No. Eh... Uh, You're a founder. <laughs> I mean, war so what's really interesting about Warhammer Fantasy is it is the least acknowledged, probably. I, I think now more so than in the past. But w Lord of the Rings is really the first example in literature of the combined notion of high fantasy in 
elves and dwarves and magic and all these things. Shortly after that, we have... New Archbishop. Ah. Uh, not a good Archbishop, unfortunately. Not a good one at all. But he's 51. And his health is poor, so hopefully... <clears throat> hopefully he'll die quick. This guy wasn't even that great, but... <clears throat> after... So... Lord of the Rings comes around, then D&D sl slightly after it. And then D&D uh, &D was... Let's see. Dungeons... I think it was in the, the... I think it was like 76. First edition was... 1977. Oh, 74. 74. Then split into two branches. Um, <clears throat> and then some eight years later... I mean, Warhammer Fantasy's first edition actually was... I want to say 1983 or 4, maybe even 82 if I'm if I'm being dumb about it. And those three are the first examples of true high fantasy. And a lot of uh, a lot of fantasy tropes come from all three, but people don't really ever think about Warhammer as part of that that kind of continuum, right? We think of D&D &D and Lord of the Rings as like the top two, but really fantasy shaped a lot of it because fantasy took um, Warhammer Fantasy took the notion of high fantasy and also grounded it very heavily by intermixing it with European history. Warhammer Fantasy 1st and 2nd edition has a ton of European history sprinkled throughout it. Like the Great Crusade was is, some, is, is something that comes from like 2nd and 3rd edition and it pretty much is just simply the Crusades. Like it's a very interesting um, bit of information when it comes to taking a look at history on a brighter, or I'm sorry, the history of fantasy on a broader scope. Yeah, Warhammer also matured the concept of dark fantasy. It's a very good point, Thomas Gideon. And while 40, 40k did 40k didn't really do anything crazy. 40k jumped on a bandwagon that was very popular in the late 80s, early 90s with sci-fi, dystopic, future-style RPG and tabletop games. That was huge. You have the Shadowrun series. You have Cyberpunk was an actual, member. that was an actual tabletop RPG at first. And you have a ton of these types of RPGs coming out because the 80s and 90s was filled a lot more with sci-fi fantasy and less so with... Um, medieval fantasy like oh hey it is a dragon i think that started to pick up steam towards the mid to late or i'm sorry uh, uh yeah i'd say early to mid 90s and it kind of jettisoned from there okay so we got the ooh, we got a little chieftain over here huh Dude, we got a oh my god we can ransom him for quite a bit might as well get the 50 out of him Gregor Peacock here. That's his son. Yeah, it's his, it's his heir. Oof, oof. Yes, Sean, absolutely. Well, Star Wars and Star Trek. Both were very heavily in the public eye at that point, you know? This guy's just a dude. Just an Anglo-Saxon. I mean... I shall negotiate your release and gain a hook. I have no reason to keep him around, and I can't execute him to any benefit. I think I can at least. Yeah, I, it cost me stuff, and I'm not going to really go down that road. Gain a weed hook on this dude. Well, he's got organizer, which is kind of nice. I don't know if I have any other guys who have organizer, just to get stuff moved around. Yeah, I don't. So he would actually be good just to have. Shoot you. See, one thing I, I would really like to be able to drill down on is how to really increase commander traits. I know it's simple, right? Like, oh, just create a commander and have him take part in Holy Wars makes the Holy Warrior trait. But I wonder about certain things. Like, how do you get Musterer? Or what's not muster organizer? Sorry. How do you get these specific traits? How do you get aggressive attacker? Like, 
I don't really understand how you can build those out. Well, we could execute the sun just to like, you know, really cause some upheaval. Like, even if you do a bunch of raids, you still won't get Raider. There's no guarantee that you'll get it. Jarl Strucker's half-sister, half raid. Good. So I don't like anyone having claims. Just sitting around here. I mean, I could just kill her. I could just kill this child. Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's just terrifying. You get is it really at 100 raids, Madra? Which time I see? What, you, what was the question? Oh, look at this guy going hog wild over here. Uh oh. Well, I don't necessarily mind if that goes off. Actually, yeah, maybe I do mind. Who is this? This is just the, the Nottingham. Nottinghamshire claim. Maybe I'll let that... I can let that go off. Or let, let this war conclude. Because... So if I de enforce demands and take this land, then Lincolnshire will... I, they will automatically be at war with me. And I'll have to fight all of these guys. Sheriff of Nottingham. And I mean, I'll be able to roll over him. It's not an issue. But. Yeah, and so yeah, you can have people go on a, on um, the tour and become Brangian, which is really cool. Oh, you're from Lincolnshire? Oh, man dead. So you're, so you're saying you don't want me to take it over. You saying you want me to take it over, huh? By the actual leader. Yeah, there it is. There's the leader. <laughs> this is still called Lindsay. So, what do you guys think? Should we conclude this war, which will immediately jump us into this war with them? What's up, Franco? Or do we let their war conclude, they'll take Lincolnshire, and then we have this portion of Jorvik? So basically I'm asking... Do I roll this one war, war into a second war with Mercia? I think it might be time to swap this guy to looking into the Mercian throne. 
Just chilling, killing. Good to hear, Franco. <laughs> Good call, okay. <clears throat> well, do you think, I think that this might go, this might actually go through first. Because, won't this give them 100% war score? Because they just need the Earldom of Lincolnshire. We didn't do a history time today, Franco, so you're in luck, my dude. Well, remember, even if we go and attack them, it's just going to immediately roll into another fight with us. Okay, well, we'll be good. Ah, let's see here. My Chancellor, David, I assume that's David, has worked hard to convince our neighboring realm's vassals that the peace treaty entered with. Oh ho ho ho! Okay. Invalidate that bad boy. Who's conquering your target? No one really. Where are they going? Oh, they're, they're just going to take it out their own. Okay. Now we'll go after him. So we destroyed one army, then the second army came on top of it. Yes, let this marriage go through. Look at this bomb children they're gonna make. What's that champion what? Was maimed? Was was killed? Battle of Iverness? Oh no, that was He's fine. Okay, now we can resolve this without issue. But he, we will not be releasing, but I just wanted to see. Nope. Nope. Uh, we'll, I mean, I could kill her, but I'm just kind of afraid to do that. Like, it just, it feels so wrong to murder a child, man. <laughs> My health is ailing. I knock upon the door of death. I don't know, Franco. Probably the next one will do a little Wincesty. A little Wincesty poo. Uh, ransom this guy off. And I think we gotta just... Oh. Oh, this feels so... Oh, I did it. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I did it. I just don't wanna... I wanna talk about it. <laughs> I know it's just a game, but it's weird. It feels funky.
All right. So the child, letting the child rot in the dungeon seems even worse, man. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and enforce these demands now. We'll get all the goods. No, Edie, no. <laughs> So now we immediately jump into the secondary war, which we can end real quick. So let's Landcaster starting to give me a penalty. Let's give this away to an adult male. Not a ruler. Opinion of me. Please. Excellent opinion of me. Yes. Child slayer, man. I am I am a child slayer. I have done it, guys. I've killed my boy. He is insular. That could be good. Brave, fickle, and gregarious, unfortunately, though. Maybe I'd take him off of the front line. Court champion. Oh, what's this guy? Oh, warrior of faith, how sick is this? Fergus of Schoon. I want to land him for doing for like going down there and just doing the deed. Yeah, do you guys want to? We'll we'll do a um. We'll do a um. Good, Anakin. Good. No. Him. <laughs> uh, late boy, it looks like 1.59 is going to be coming out soon. Guys, do please make sure you're liking the stream. I think we have like 150 people, but we only have 60 likes. Let's pump up those likes, bro. Rated, okay. Sure, I guess we'll call him in. Where is this? This guy's far away, right? Yeah, really far away. Yeah, we'll land. The, I want to land the Crusader because I think it's like a cool thing. Like, you've gone out and fought. You should be landed thusly. Huh. This guy. Look at this guy. He has a claim to the Kingdom of Ireland. That's kind of cool. He's my lieges. Oh, good. He's my brother's spy master. That's great. Sunni the cold of Kendall. Brother of Lanchesire, which is also Lan. Okay. Fergus Schoon becomes your vassal. I couldn't possibly go poorly. <laughs> All right. Um, Maron. Oh, this guy is actually pretty good. Baron here. Baron. And he's a really good... Yeah, I think... Because I want I want a really good uh, steward here to hopefully make better buildings. Some Lancaster. So, Lancashire. 
Is that right, man dead? What is that donation? Five dollars from ED Sellers. Gotta go dig ditches in the rain. Thanks for giving me some laughs to think about while I work. Well, thank you very much for stopping in, ED. Always really good to see you. Glad you had some fun. Please be safe out there if you're uh, digging some ditches in the rain. Bundle up. Don't get too, uh, get too wet and cold. Sick, you know. But also make sure you have the proper footwear. Slipping in the mud can lead to a rolled, if not sprained, ankle. English people is pronounced more like sure. Less harsh sounding, so Lancashire would do it. Yeah, don't catch a chill, I guess as I say. Okay, so we need to go take back Lincoln and pop out Nottinghamshire. You have the United Africa. I do not. Got my work boots on. Good. York. Oh, okay. So this converted to York. That's so cool. <laughs> um, so we got to make... We have to have a cool Duke of York. Duke of York's got to be someone pretty snazzy. So... We have... I guess we could hold on to that, but... Let me take a look at myself. I've got the Duke of Lothian and the Duke of the Isles is what I am right now. Okay, so we probably want to make one of these guys. I, I think he could be the. I think he'd be a, the ill ruler. Ooh, the gardener. Where is the? Which one is the Dutch? Okay, so he might be. I mean, they both are pretty solid candidates. For Duke. He's my tax collector. And what is he? He's something else. He's my cup bearer. Because he's got the intrigue. I'm just scared of someone who's lustful, man. I don't... Uh, OS, I only have one son. And I'm not going to be producing anymore. He's winning the war. And this is just a raiding party that's getting cut up. This is just a neutral army. This is neutral army a part of. Uh -huh. Who is the Duke of Earl? There is none. Do it eventually. I want to see a succession crisis. Why OS? I hate succession crises. So who do I make the Duke of the Isles here? Earl Talor or Earl... This guy. <laughs> We're not going to get any penalties for these just yet, which is good. What's up, Flinson? You know what I'm gonna do? Pop that up and get... Alright. Now? 
ally, huh? Oh, because, they're, yeah, they're helping us in that war. Well, they're both pretty useful, right? So he's got high intrigue. And high diplomacy. This guy's got real... Yeah, we'll probably... He's a really good... Oof. He's better than this guy. What is this guy? He's got duty focus. Well, that's at least in stewardship. So he will get better at being a steward. Versus this dude who has... Well, he also has stewardship. He's got amazing stewardship. So... I could make him a duke. And then put him on the council. And swap these two. Swap the tax collector with him. This guy's not necessarily the best vassal either, though. He's a pilgrim. His education trait is lower. Yeah, well, he's 34 and this guy's 26. Yeah, they're both pretty young. There's a Gaelic form of... Einstein? Einstein? Hmm. My dwarf hates me, man. Look at this little guy. Like, give me a lot in life that is better. We gotta find another... <laughs> gotta find another dwarf. That was terrible, right? Gotta find another... I think it only could be a male dwarf in that position. And it's diplomacy, I think, that is the important thing. Inside diplomatic range, all... With dwarf. If I can bring this guy in. I don't even have any characters for him to marry, unfortunately. Got a VD, of course, is upset. You're not wrong. I don't. For the court dwarf, I don't know the rules. I don't know if it can be a male or not. Or if it can be a female. No, he actually has VD, Travers. Her all car was taken from my Yal Bjorn. Ooh, that's not good. Where am I being raided? Where? Um. Oh, he's running away. Okay. Ruling the multicultural kingdom of Scotland comes with its own set of challenges. Foreign subjects often feel alienated when they cannot speak their native tongue in court, being resentment. My brother, High Chieftain Aid, suggests that I could significantly improve relations with my Gaelic subjects by learning the, to speak their language. And speak their language alongside my own. Why bother? Scots is clearly superior. Edwin, how are you doing, man? 2021 is... I think it's going, you know? <laughs> Let's do just really quick patronage. We'll do this for the 82%. Hire a tutor to instruct me.
Let's go. Oh, you little bastard, huh? Okay, language learned. Time well spent. No. Time well spent. Okay, perfect. And switch her back to... Oh, that fiend! Oh yeah, yeah, we'll spend that. I don't... Creating rivalries in this game kind of always is like... an unnecessary stress. If we can try and get him. That was an easy win. Oh, we didn't have a, a cool war target? Alright, we just beat the shit out of him. Okay. Bamba. We got plenty of good prisoners here. Let's get some good stuff. I will take your wife into my bed on the first night of her wedding. Sorry. Too much Braveheart. This guy... I mean, a lot of these guys are just terrible. You can have all of them back, man. I don't want a single one of them. This guy's got giant... This guy would actually make a, a good enough vassal, too, though. You kind of make a good vassal, too. <clears throat> oh, how dare you, man dead. The sausages. We recruited the giant. We recruited the giant. Oh, well, Upland has gotten a foothold on our lands. I thought they were winning that war, so I wasn't too worried about it, but looks like they'll be ripe, ripe for the vassalage now, hopefully. What? I'm just going to conquer him. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Did I do this ransom? No. So please. Yes. Pay me reparations. Oh, you're already considering a proposal for me? I forgot. Well, I'll get a strong hook on her, but there's not much... And I can do this to get hook on him. I 
I don't see. Do you guys see a point to getting a hook on her? Like a massive one? Uh, no, they are Cumbrian. <laughs> I mean, do you guys see any point to that? I should probably take a look at my hooks, though. I have some good ones. I don't have golden obligations. Well, no, I, I don't really plan on murdering him. He's also kind of, he's on his way out. The sun, though. Well, maybe, maybe it could come in handy. It could come in handy. We'll see how it works. Gain that strong hook. So find him a spouse, okay. We will find someone who has... Fertile. Fertile traits. Well, this could work. Sophie here. Got robust. That yeah, might be best one is Sophie, I think. Although this one is definitely worth bringing into the court. Bring him in, and he'll be a, he'll be a good vassal. What else is he considering? There we go. There it is. Let's just get that done with. Got some money from that, which is good. We're in a power position there now. We could even start a war immediately with East Anglia. And just shore up all of York. Which is just lovely, man. Like I could do... Armies are raised? Well, who cares? Chasing this guy out of our lands. Thank you for the donation. Where'd that come through? Glad to see you still playing CK3. Have you had any experiences or moments that you'll never forget yet because of humor or just awesomeness? Thank you very much for the $20 donation, Kastra. That was huge. Very, very generous of you, man. Thank you. Um. I, I think... Probably some of my more memorable moments of CK3 have been like a super heir dying in a crazy situation. Like when I was playing down here as uh, Robert Giscard, the um, the fox, you know, the the Norman king of south of southern Italy, and he, uh, we had his son who was just this beast of a character, right? Like I was lined up, I was like, cool, good. Someone in chat was like. Oh, make him lead your armies. It's really good. It, it builds his um, his stats up prior to him being king. I'm like, sure, done. And I went and attacked like some crap ass little army that I was like, oh, we'll just take this place over quickly. And I think he was also he was brave. He was the commander and he was a knight because he had something like 25 um, martial prowess and uh, 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 yeah, prowess, 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 prow, prow of a ship, prowess. Um, and he got killed. He got maimed, and then he died of his wounds. And I was like, what the, what the fuck? You guys led me astray. Like, oh, 
And then the, yeah, everyone became, what ended up happening too was because he died, the best son was a hunchback and it started like a legacy of hunchbacks for my entire uh, Giscar campaign. So that was actually really <laughs> fun. That was probably one of the more memorable moments, but there's been a lot of them. Like I just really enjoy when all of like the dominoes of this game set themselves up and then one hits and like seven things happen in a row. Like, okay, like when we were playing as um, Spain and we were unifying Spain, my wife and was just like a fifth in line princess to the kingdom of Lothongria and everyone died in succession up to her and she ended up inheriting that kingdom. So I had this huge portion of Lothrongria that was de facto like kind of part of mine because she was the queen and I was the king down here. So it's like I had this really reliable ally. Or during the Kievan Rus campaign, when we were pushing around over here to kind of unify all this land, one of my vassals inherited a huge chunk of the Khazaria. And it ended up being that we had like this whole portion right here. And it was it was uh, it, it was the person who was supposed to be Crimea. Like, Crimea was just like, whop, right over there all of a sudden. There's this huge swath of land. Yeah, then this campaign, the leper son just dying as soon as he hit 16. Like, got it, he got a uh, consumption, hit 16, and then just leprosy, death. Boom. But thank you very much, Castro. I hope that uh, hope that explanation, I hope that response was what you were looking for. I will disband this little army here. We're not being raided. Yeah, the treatments my doctor didn't make you mean. <laughs> it's okay, DC. It's free. It's liberated. This guy's just really not in a position not to get me. Yeah, I'm waiting for a DLC too, man. I think it's going to be exciting. And this guy's just getting raided and beat up. Why can't they be disbanded? So, we are 51, my son is 20. Let me see Tanistry Elective here. Electors, for the most part, all seem to really like my son. He's too young. Not a foreigner's puppet king. You're a foreigner's puppet king, you piece of poop. Most people seem to like my son. The important dukes like my son, it looks like. Eh, minus him. Well, M. Lari, you can't, but I can attempt suicide. He was, he was leading the army. Yes, he was leading the army, but it's okay. He's not a, he's not a champion. When he's a champion is when it's dangerous. So I can attempt suicide and I can let my son take over. He doesn't have a kid yet, but shoo hoo No, she was a bastard. <laughs> no, Travis, I do my own laundry. Thank you very much. 
Uh, no, they will get their second round in nine days. Nine days and counting. We smell that shit. Go away. Yeah. Let me see. I, I've never seen. I want to see. I want to save game and press the button. I don't want it to like kick off. Uh oh. There we go. Lose thirty opinion of you. All that's all. Increases their level of splendor by one. Ooh, that's not good at all, dude. Never mind. No. No, screw that. Let's go to Edinburgh. We can't make anything here because this is this is a um, what's it called? Well, his health is ailing, so I would have hoped he would be kind of on his way out. I can have my my cup bearer. We can have my cup bearer switch from this to this. Advise the liege, which will help. It will reduce the health thing that he's helping with. But this one is only uh, disease resistance. Uh, not that it's a barony, uh, Madra. It's a Feudal barony. It's a feudal barony. Are you winning, son? We're doing pretty well, Dad. I don't know how to. I don't. I don't know this. How to? What? What? What is? How do I say that word? So York, I want to go to like an outstanding gentleman. So let's take a look at who our options are. This guy's chaste, but he is humble. This champion is Norse. That won't go well. But we'll probably... <laughs> Here you go. This word. The name for the dynasty. Dynasty... That C become a Chet sound? Well, you can also get life reaffirmed to doing that, Mark. I doing? Oh, York. Let's see who we can find here. I mean, we don't have a character named Piglet yet, though. We're not going to give it to this dude, because he'll run. He'll just go running with it. We could give it to our new giant. Actually, to be totally honest, our giant's actually a pretty good character. He's trusting and content. He would make a really good, um... Man, should we make him Duke of York? The giant Duke of Nork? York? Let's look at some of our other candidates here. Um, we'll take... We'll, sort of, we'll organize this by, uh... Stewardship. Trusting is a good one. I mean, this guy's good. The Italian Duke of York. Yeah, I, I already... I already married him to someone with robust NN. Uh, Christopher Lyons, that is a mod that we're using. All the mods that I currently have active, you can find in uh, the description. There's a picture that will link you to all of them. But it's a really, really good mod. That's a lot of really good flavor. Yeah, I think, honestly, we'll give it to the giant. I think the giant would be really fun. The Duke of Mork. 
Bear, what's up, man? How are you? Yeah, I think that guy's honestly one of our better better bets. He's young and he has the learning focus of a fortune builder, so he'll go that direction. I think we give him. We'll give him. Because I want him to have a little bit more land. Yeah, I think we'll do that. North and West riding. And then we'll make him the Duke. Yeah, he's trusting, he's content, he's diligent, and he's also going to be a fortune builder. So he'll switch over to that focus, hopefully. Let's do it. Yeah, me too, man. I haven't seen you here in a long time. can actually kind of jack up his taxes a little bit too because I can I can do this get some higher taxes that doesn't really fit me though you know I'm a generous character in the giant sure Well, actually, no, no, no. I, I got the hook. I got. I'm sorry. I got the hook because I'm. I was probably going to convert him to uh, insular. So let's create some titles here. Duchy of York. Why is it called Dira? Is it because he's Anglo-Saxon? Because that's what the Anglo-Saxons called it. Oh, M. Lari, good call there. Okay, so... By modifying his feudal contract... On the ducal level. Right, it's, it's usually because of their culture. So I think it's because he's Anglo-Saxon. Because the Anglo-Saxons called this the kingdom of uh, Dira. And this one was Bernicia up here. Um, it, is, it assigns out its name rather than York. Which is interesting. I, I didn't know it would do that. I thought it would stay as York. Because I am the king. <laughs> Let it be known. Yeah, he wants that earldom of Lincolnshire, which I could probably give to him. But you don't want to grant the title in this case. What we, what I'm probably going to do is, we'll modify. I think we'll modify his feudal contract. He'll be happy when I give him the other thing. Yeah, he's too stoked on it. So Lincoln down here will grant to another vassal, and I'll give him the vassal. And the difference here is that by giving him the vassal, I don't give him direct power over that land. It kind of keeps him a little bit weaker, and it also means that someone else controls that title and will hurt, um, inherit it. If you give them three pieces of land, they have the likelihood of getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Oh, interesting, Mark. We can land another... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to land another veteran. I mean, he's not going to be mine, so... Yeah, maybe we'll just do that. What's the culture over there, though? It's Norse. Oh, I could actually give it to a Norse character, like this guy, like Omar here. And he's cynical, so he's at least... He's not likely to convert. Or he is likely to convert. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad idea. 
I've never played Imperator Rome. Um, Paradox just sent me a key, so I have to try it out. Good call in, Laurie. So you're saying land this guy? Land M. Lari, then ask him, him to convert. Remember, as of 1.3, if you convert the loot, the Lord, it doesn't automatically convert the land. Fortunately. They changed it. Yeah, I'm just kind of wary about dropping down another... Uh, I guess we're okay. It's not like there's... There's not a ton of levees here. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it to Omar. I'm kind of a little scared because he's, he's ambitious and wrathful, but... We'll see how it goes. We're only going to get more lands, so I'm not totally worried about it. And we will... No. Oh, his culture is Norse. Doesn't matter, I can't do anything with that. Okay, that's right. And we will give you this vassal. Grant a vassal. This guy here. He will be static. Or we'll hold on to him and wait and do some stuff. Oh, yeah. Maybe I don't want him on my council. Never mind. Alright, grant that vassal. Give this action. Let it go through. I don't know. I think the contract gets reset. Because it's a different feudal lord. Who is doing what here, where? So, Annandale Conquest. God, stop it. Okay, the Annandale Conquest of Earl of Galway. Well, did a little. We still have Tanistry, yes. It's these people. The Aldom of Upland. But all over there. Okay. Versus Annandale. It's just Annandale? With them as an ally. Okay, okay, okay. And you still won't vassalize. But I think it's just time. Well, I don't want him... I don't want him, like...
Which guy's getting strong? Upland? Yeah, Upland's getting kind of beefy. So I could declare war here. With a duchy. Interesting, he's got two allies, huh? I might just let them do this war. And... Well... This is such a small county that it'd be easy to eat up. Now the holy sites for Insular are Canterbury, Armagh, and Iona. And they have two of those right now. What is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why, why not? Oh, because the top liege's faith is a thought true. So... Catholicism, so I can I can change this. This isn't a problem. Hmm. And this would if we got all three of them, these three down here: sway scheme power ten percent, learning per level of devotion plus one, monthly piety five percent, and then country or sorry county conversion speed in British Isles plus thirty percent. Ooh. So what do you guys think? Should we stay as Catholicism, which does have a lot of really good things. Armed pilgrimages is very nice. Communion is excellent for indulgences. And monasticism is cool because you can have people take vows. Um, I can also ask the Pope for money, which is, again, pretty cool. Now, insular Christianity, though, allows me to have... Um, What's it called? Uh, um, concubines. I'll just say concubines. It's the word I can't think of. Um, I don't have a head of faith. And we get monasticism again. Vows of poverty. Rulers can decide to make a vow of poverty, reducing monthly, in monthly tax income, but increasing monthly piety gain makes generous and greedy a sin. Or generous a uh, a, a virtue and greedy a sin, or or and pastoral isolation always considers other Christian faiths to be righteous regardless of doctrinal doctrinal differences. Conversion resistance plus thirty percent. Characters and counties may sometimes re reconvert back to this faith if led astray. Characters, but not counties, are more willing to be converted. Thomas, you can't. That's a problem. Insular minus ten to develop is the same as, um, what's what's that minus ten to develop for insular Christianity? I don't, I don't know. Is that a thing? Well, there's also pluralist too. Adherents of other faiths will have opinion penalties of fifty percent. Uh, county conversion speed minus twenty percent. Counties of other faiths are less likely to join factions. Reduce danger from heresies when at low fervor. And winning a holy war will vassalize infidel rulers in the target instead of seizing their land. So it would be different. It would definitely be very different than just playing as Christianity. Pastoral isolation. Oh, development growth minus 10%. Interesting. Different faith. Beach opinion plus 10. Opinion of different faith. Okay, I actually did not know that. Thank you, Mandad. Well, and actually thank you, uh, I, Burke, for bringing that up. So we'll put it to a vote. I'm gonna put it in right here. Pull. 
Which religion should we go? Insular Christianity or Catholicism? I know that it's a sect of one of these. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to press start here. There will be a timer of... We'll put a three minute timer on it. I'm going to press start. And you guys will vote by typing exclamation point vote space zero for insular Christianity or in exclamation point vote space one for Catholicism. And you'll do that just like I'm going to type in right here. So I just voted for um, Catholicism. Oh, I'm sorry. I just voted for insular Christianity. Yeah, we can also... Good call, Piglet. Piglet said, Sparta, you could easily reform insular Christianity since the holy sites are easily available. Very true. So we can conquer Britannia and then re uh, just change all the ones we don't want. So you guys vote. I'm going to uh, drink, drink, get some water. I'll be right back. Oh man, Insular Christianity won 23 to 6. All right. Let's take a look in a book.
Tak. Make my shorts. <laughs> oh, you got some psychedelic shorts on, right? All right. So let's save and kind of see how this works. I mean, I've done it plenty of times before. It should be just fine. But um, I think all of my vassals like me. What's up, Albanian? How you doing, dude? Vassals. Most part, everyone is in good shape. Everyone's in great shape, actually. Very few do not like me. So let's take a look at... This is the only one who doesn't. I guess he thinks he's a powerful vassal for some reason. Ooh, we need 119 more. That should be easy, though. Almost everyone will convert, too. Yeah, everyone will? Damn, yeah. So let's do this. Hey, um... I just need... I just need a little bit. I just need a little bit of piety, Big Daddy Poppy. And he's gonna be like, yeah, sure, here you go. He's gonna give this to me, and I'm just gonna use it to convert. <laughs> oh, ooh, is this his son? Yeah, 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 that's his son, right? Yeah, yeah, see it done. Get that strong hook. Okay, so we got that. So. Now. We do it, right? You guys ready for this? We're missing 19 still. Well, I guess we could go on a real quick pilgrimage. That sucks. <laughs> I think this is the only way to do it. We just the Alone, long, long, long. What a Canterbury! Come on. Perhaps somewhere else, maybe. Oh, churches in Canterbury still considered long. All right, so no matter what, it's going to be a long journey. Let's do it. Time to depart. Canterbury is considered long. Well, I guess it's the capital location. It's the cheapest, yeah. Familial concern. What do you mean familiar? And this will increase piety per month. I donate to the clergy. This guy's such a beast. 37 learning, man. Look at that. Has he just gone down all of them? No, I just won. Like, I wish I could make him... Wait a minute, can't I assign? <gasps> Ooh, I can make him the bishop. Isn't that... No, don't I have that ability? Reflection. Monthly piety plus 10%. A worldly pilgrim. Diplomacy plus 2. Out here late at night, I sometimes look at the stars and wonder, can God even see me this far from home? Yeah, he's terrible. A theatrical pilgrim. That a theor theocratic ruler of same faith opinion. No, no, uh, with... Oh, that's right, Catholicism, that's right, that's right, Catholicism. Duh, 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 I'm dumb, I'm dumb. 
Um, it doesn't really matter here. We'll get the diplomacy, I suppose. Although we do need piety, so. What's up, Just JP? How are you doing, dude? God is with me. It's okay, JP. We're gonna have fun together, regardless, man. It will give me a new bishop. <laughs> I just saw Indie Pride's video go up and the thumbnail is great. In a cute case, the murderies. <laughs> I can change my focus away from health. But I'd rather... I want to do this conversion first. Jarl Dag won against... Okay. Walk the holy path. You gain the trait Pilgrim. Until you get to Termin Pilgrim. In. I do like my standing desk, but you do have to you get a standing desk, make sure you get a good standing mask or mask mat and then um oh because you got to stretch a lot if you're on a standing desk. You can get tight hips, tight back. If you have an interior tilt, it can really mess with you, so you got to make sure you I I fidget a lot when I stand. So it's okay for me, but if you stand statically like this all day, you're loading your back and your lower back up, so you kind of have to move around, be dynamic. Like, I have uh, lacrosse balls down here. <laughs> yeah, my balls. I have lacrosse balls on the ground that I roll my feet on all the time. But your capital is Schoon. Starting capital. This is not Schoon. This is Schoon. Right here. There's Schoon. Or if, if you're saying like the whole thing is Schoon. Uh, Tyler, that is a, uh, that is a, um, what's it called? A mod. <laughs> All right, good to be home now. Let us do it. We gotta. We really gotta spread Scots too. We gotta make sure that gets going around. All right, we'll save yet again. Yeah, I want to get more dwarfs up in this piece, but I'm a little bit of an issue with that. Will, will, will. Everyone's gonna convert here. These guys are the least likely, but I'm pretty sure they'll do it anyway. Let's do it. New Archbishop. That should all kind of slowly chip in. That'll take some time, but we can convert. All right, so let's take a look over our council. Uh, he's damn good. I'll take it. Usually it shows you this guy converted, this guy converted, this guy converted. For faith in county. So who would take? Three years. Our capitals. Okay. Three, 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 three. Get public order real quick. Is there a public order filter? Gotta do this. Dunbar. Six years, though. A lot of public order issues now. A giant bishop?
So the real question is, do we move to tri absolute tribal, or do we pass high tribal authority before... Oh, my sister's died. This guy is really just kind of pissing me off, to be honest. Where'd his wife go? <laughs> yeah, vassals should be okay with it. But getting up to absolute as fast as we can is going to be pretty huge, because that's going to allow us to adopt feudalism. And we do want to get there as fast as possible. This guy's still giving us a problem. Did Zerastrian win the vote? Don't have two, two five to give him. Let's do just let's go with uh benevolent intent. Should increase that by a bit. He already had the murder icon showing. In fact, I think we have a hook on that. So should I so what I can do is Oh, I can offer vassalage? Oh yeah, I was like, he's not my vassal. He definitely won't allow vassalage anymore because we're a different faith. So we're gonna just have to we're gonna just have to crush this guy out. Um and I'm fine with it. I mean it's unfortunate, but conquering that duchy will take no time at all. And I think we need to get rid of this dude. Like, I don't want him any in any way, shape, or form a part of my anything. But we can instead we can start going into Ireland. I can use this this strong hook though. No, we can't. But I can destroy her. Like, I can just absolutely kick the crap out of her. He is, but he wasn't he wasn't gonna give it up to begin with, so. Let's just get rid of him. Let's demand he converts, though. Just get rid of these people. Make them convert. Annoy them. Yeah, I don't really see much. I mean, he's a, he's a good enough warrior, I suppose. Could recruit him and convert him. That guy's gone now, so... Yeah, just to have another champion here. Galmar. This guy's actually not terrible. Just to make him a vassal around over here? Yeah, we'll do that. So we have these hooks. I could try and use this hook with Mercia to force an alliance. I already have a strong hook on his heir, which is good. So when he dies, which should be any time now for the most part, I can try to push that agenda.
in due time, OS, in due time, I am going to move off of this. We're going to just jump back here. I know you want a succession crisis, but I do not. <laughs> so his health will begin to go down a little bit more now. Oh, we've already set up for succession. He's all good. He's a duke. He's got a he's got a good sizable little army here. And most of the the prominent rulers like him enough. So that's okay. Hola, what's up? Lol, haha, how are you doing, man? But I think we gotta... I don't want to deal with... I don't want this guy as a... Uh, we don't have any grandkids yet. Looks like there's no kids. So she's not pregnant. She's just turned 17. And he's 20, so they're young. They've got tons of time under their belt, too, which is good. Oh boy, I'm sorry to hear that, man. You feeling okay? Is that, is that really your only symptom? Send who more money? Uh, Pavel. Or Pavel. Favorite game that's come out in 2021? Nothing yet? In 2020? It's a tie between this and Bannerlord. Although I'm... Oh, you know Valheim. Valheim's probably my favorite 2021 game. I'm loving playing that. Send him more money? Why? I mean, I could. With Panela, but I'm loving this. Well, I'm good to hear that, Cad. I'm glad you're enjoying. Glad the, uh... That and just be virtual. Well, Alright, Toolboy. Just kind of... Lay low, take it easy. You taking vitamin C and vitamin D? Make sure you're doing that. Take a uh, child aspirin too. It can prevent blood blood clots. So let's honestly, I think we got to wipe this guy out. We can see the problem I have here is declare conquer duchy. We will seize the territory with petty king defense part of the petty. He becomes your vassal. Oh no no no. Okay, good. Okay. I thought... I thought he became a vassal. I'm looking forward to Vampire Bloodline... Or Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines too, but I agree with you, Mark, that all this negative press on it is making me really wary. Okay, good, man. Good to hear. Yeah, am I... I have a lot of family in medical, and they said, "Hey, just keep vitamin C and D on the on on like reserve. If you get it, this is the regimen you need to take until you're negative." Yeah, and also make sure you're eating. You don't need to eat heavy. Eat just like white rice and like chicken and chicken broth. Like make yourself basically a little easy soup out of that. But make sure, yeah, you're you're giving your body um, fuel to fight with. Well, is, aren't we? Don't we have an alliance together? We don't. They invalidate the alliance. I guess we just never had it. I think it's time to take Strathclyde out, and then we'll work on Upland and Annandale. Fuel. Oh, due to the war, you can no longer sway him. Yeah, that's kind of true. Are there any vassals I should just work on swaying right now? Striker. I wish I could organize this by their opinion.
Maybe OS, maybe dude. Like, that stuff really kind of like gets tedious for me. Dude, Wessex. Alfred is getting pretty big. He's a big boy indeed. No chip protects after offer, you're damn right you do. Calm down, man. Additional taxes, nice. Ooh, a trained healer, you say? She is. She's a very well-trained healer. Peter, on the other hand, is supposed to be a good healer. Ugh. Enemy combatants captured. A marshal. A high almoner. Oh, well, that just kind of happened. Marshall is no one to write home about. And this guy is also no one crazy. He's forgiving and shy and temperate, so those are good those are virtuous for Cath to Catholics. Espionage lovers. Huh. <gasps> While performing his duties as my spy master, High Chieftain has uncovered a secret held by Earl this guy. Bedenford, he has secretly taken Wolfren, the tax collector, as a lever. Ah, this would be useful to know. Good indeed. But um, on this note, guys, should we... Do you guys see any reason to blackmail the king of, of Mercia? Like, we can use this to create an alliance. This will prevent him from fighting me. Do you think we should take that, that route? And I have a strong hook on his son, which will never, ever dissipate. Piggity Malcolm Constantine. Oh, nice. He got military engineer. That's sick. I don't think we can use it to vassalize. We'll try. We'll try right now. The Stark? Oh. I have a strong hook on his wife. I have a strong hook on his entire family. Yeah, I can't do it. I could have swore that allowed me to do... I mean, I could force a marriage. But there's he's got no one to marry. I can take some spouses. Maybe we'll switch this guy over to my cupbearer from this to this. That just means that that's just like that. It's gonna it's gonna be sad to see Constantine the second go. He's been such a good lord despite getting infirm, which just look at that man. Infirm and melancholic tanked his otherwise his what would have otherwise been a good intrigue playthrough. Alright, alt cult. And force these demands. Done and done. I don't know, I think it's a bug mark as a result of the uh the stuff I've got up. 
But look at that. What's going up in the world? He's an okay vassal. I'm not really stoked on him. Who am I swaying? Is this guy? Uh, he's a better vassal. Oh, did he? Oh, okay. Thanks, Jerry. I agree, Piglet. Like, it's pretty surprised that he's still around. Um, I think I'm gonna make... 2700. Ooh, Ramsey? Like, Ramsey Bolton? Yeah, you're gonna become the Duke here. The Duke of the Isles. Nope, no, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I just realized that. With that, it's gonna take these guys out of their positions. Which sucks. He's a good tax collector and he's a great cupbearer. Do I have anyone else to replace this guy's cupbearer? This guy, kinda. Yeah, a cool coat of arms, right? That coat of arms is sick. The dragon falls before the sword. Oh, House Graham is sick too. What's mine? Ah, hmm. I have respect. Not even a ba it's barely a complete sentence. Take this one out too. <laughs> My lady. It is a mod Shrek. Action credit against me, huh? Yeah, that's no big deal. Summon the armies yet again. Chieftain Hacken join them. Ooh, tourney troubles. While I'm waiting under the pavilion for something to happen, Mortimer Ao... Aokade? Comes your friend. Might as well just have another friend here. Vassal in your realm? Yes, become my friend. No, Andrew, uh, it did not. The Army of Hexum. Lovely name. New Intrigue. We're still trying to get that age going here. Trying to get there. We're on. I would hope we're on. Close by. Ooh. Okay. All right. Well, that interesting. Band of Kerns. Interesting. 
indeed. Yeah, we did get lots of new territory. We kind of shored up this land over here. We're about to finish off this area, which is great. All right. Yeah, let's just and let's just do this too. I want to I want to conclude these little minor bad wars. Yeah, and just kind of move through them. There's an ongoing raid here? By who? Monarch, don't do this. I will crush you right now. Virtuous bishop celebrated. Source of fervors increased by 10. Woo! Yeah, he hasn't grabbed these. These guys are just... I mean, I'll probably grab them. Just to have them. We can have the Duke of the Northern Isles, which is kind of cool. Wounded my champion. Mord leg. Non believer secret, huh? Hey. Get some light calves, is that what you're saying? Good call, Flavius. Let's do it. <clears throat> There's no special things, I don't think, that we get. Any special units, which kind of sucks. Ulster will probably be our next conquest after Upland here. Yeah, but we can't make heavy cab, unfortunately. Ah! A shameful truth has reached the light of day. My vassal, Mormon David, has an extramarital affair with his lover, Synthwithwith. You were supposed to be the chosen one! Well, I can't afford... I can't do anything about that, man. I'm sorry. But your misses can go through go free. Oh, you're not <laughs> demand conversion. It's the least you can do for your for your sins. I'm keeping these guys here to execute for for my son. <laughs> like that is terrible, but it's an unfortunate kind of gamey portion of the game that I don't like too much, but succession can be pretty haphazard. So I kind of try to 
do what I can with it. The gift of generosity. Yes. This is not my son, it's just a vassal, so let's make him generous. And too few spouses, that's fine. Did we not oh we didn't give away the Isle of the Duchy of Isles yet. Hmm. This is a strong earldom. Do you agree that the younger sons of all younger sons all become dukes of the next? Uh, I don't. I don't know. OS. I don't know, man. OS, stop trying to stop trying to force that agenda on me, man. I'm just trying to enjoy my kingdom of Scotland. <laughs> And see where the hell it goes. Oh, wait, keep switch. Aha! Uh -huh. Fort level plus one? Like, that is, that is, like, disgustingly huge. Are you getting paranoid? Am I getting paranoid all of a sudden? I don't remember what this does though. I think this one's I don't remember what it progresses to. I think it progresses to like uh OS he is the future king man. There is no inheritance issues, nothing. I think we'll do improved defense because I can't remember what this. I thought this led to like special units or something, or like an increase on something like that. Mm. Well, this will at least prevent like. Well, it'll slow down any kind of raiding. I mean, I could let him lead a battle. I just hate that. Oh, I get someone coming to your court. That was it. Fun. The thing is, this guy has so many, so much uh, military strength that I don't really want to just. I mean, I could grant him this vassal. It's a vassal he wants, but I'm gonna get him anyway. It should be, it'll be fine. I think I'm just kinda letting things do their stuff. God. Not swayed, huh? Okay. The Earl of Yomrick's Lover's Secret. Okay. We're finding all sorts of juicy stuff over here. Wait him instead now. I'll just blackmail these people. Until 902. I don't know if he's. Ooh, who has the hook? Hmm. I don't know who's gonna outlast if it's him or me. A lot of lovers in that court.
What does this do? Amnesty to, for false conversion. Religionists within your realm may reveal themselves if your faith tolerates their secret faith rather than their public one. Characters that are deceitful and paranoid will not reveal their faith. Oh, interesting. That's pretty cool. I could do that. I don't know what really the, the direct benefit of I guess it just kind of helps my vassal's opinion of me. If they're worshipping in, in, in secret. Martial Guidance. Increase autonomy. Suspected false converts. Chafing control. Hmm. I've never done that. I wonder how it works or if it is helpful. Um, we can hope east. A hunt. I can suicide, but I lose a whole level of splendor if I do. And that is not cool. You guys want me to. Here, we'll do this. We'll find out. Let's find out what that does, Andrew. Tales have reached my ears of some of my realm who secretly practice hidden faiths, in whole or in part. Though I am firm insul insularist, my faith has always espou espoused an ideal of pluralism, and it seems a shame that some feel they, see they keep their worship secret for fear of persecution. Of course, as the king, I could issue a public amnesty for all false converts. I will be informed how many, if any, crypto... Uh, crypto religionists take up my offer. You spend 250. Crypto what? This is insane. This is not okay. Let's do it. Zero of my vassals recanted their public faith. Zero unlanded characters in my court recanted their public faith. Three of my counties contain extensive crypto religionist communities that have made their hidden faith public. Interesting. So that relieves it, increasing popular opinion. That's really cool. I really, really like that. That is something else. There's still a lot of Gaelic... Uh, and Insular has really taken hold a lot more here in the northern portion. Um, especially over here, too. So, we're spreading sure, uh, surely. Slowly but surely is what we're looking for. I can try to promote culture of the Scots. Up to, up to here. Four years, four years. That's not that bad. Maybe right here. That only listed by point one, so yeah, for sure we'll do that. Yeah, I feel like it was worth it at least. Title can I integrate? Oh, integrate. About 65 years. 56 years. So basically what this does is it makes so all this stuff is part of... Like if I did that, it's integrating all of it. This into the title of Kingdom of Scotland. Since here's the Kingdom of Scotland. So it's going to integrate that into it. We're not going to do that, but I'm just explaining that for those that were wondering about it. It will naturally happen through a DR drift. DRA drift. Let's 
just, just scared to have someone like that in my court. She's good though. We'll, we'll recruit her and have her just kind of sit idly. We can have, marry her if anything. She's married. Of course she is. Why wouldn't she be? Upland is getting stronger. And I don't like that. It's an ally. Ally. It's a big ally. The peculiar of the Arma. None of them are at war, which is what makes it bad. So if I go to declare war on Upland right here. And just do holy war on the county, it'll take that huge army at me. Port champion. Hey, just, just it's all right, OS. They're they're too young. They got a kid. The kid's a genius. Bam! Hopefully, he gets genius and robust in the next one, though. Yeah, good, perfect. I wanted her to become the... Alright, we need to get... Who's this guy? Yeah, I could raid Mercia. Ooh, I could really raid Mercia. I could raid the hell out of Mercy. That'd be a juicy target. Um, Flavius, Flavius, no, you don't. So, uh, oh, I thought it just had to be the parent ruler, like me. So, it looks like this guy does need to convert. Oh, no, we have Iona. So this we would need to go grab. Canterbury we would need to have. So, let's take this. Let's take Sony. And I think that'd be like our foothold into this whole region. Does he have any now? No, this would be an easy, easy smash out target. Oh, I should have done the... Screwed that up. It's okay. Says. When did we say last? Oh. This, I think, is right, right at the, uh, not sure, didn't we do some stuff? Well, the problem is it's just a conquest of the chiefdom. And I'd rather do the conquest of the duchy. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And we're getting around towards the end of our stream here today, so what I'll probably do is... Oh, there's this one?
It was. Okay, we'll do that. Like that. Yeah. Goody, good, good, good. Um, we had this guy switch to converting a culture, though. And it was this. That is all good. That is all good. My wife might die before I do. She's fine. She's fine. I am poor, apparently. Son's getting up there. He's got the kid. Switch this to here, to here, to there. Son. Declare this war. We want the duchy. No, we want to conquer the duchy. Oh, we can't. Well, we can fix that real quick. By calling a hunt. No, I need to gain. Thank you for the donation. Hey, Rewinger! Dropping on a donation saying, Great stream. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very, very much, my brother. You guys, you're all very generous. Like, it's always been awesome jumping on stream and, like, playing with you guys. And all of a sudden, you guys just, like, drop these donations out of out of nowhere that are like consistently way way huge donations so thank you very much guys like the world's a crazy place right now so i always really appreciate it it's very very generous of you guys thank you very much wasting in pain um yeah i mean like he already doesn't like me so oh no just farming you for prestige right now buddy even though this would definitely not be like me. Let me shot before the arrow even finds his target. Is that Jesus, this guy's all beat up. A good kill. The guy's like, yeah, a good kill. I'm I'm beat up, man. <laughs> Couldn't explain. I don't know why. Alright, re return home reinvigorated. Okay, perfect. Now, we can do the real war here. Ooh, we're negative? I didn't notice that. Declare that war. Conquer that duchy. Why is this so positive? You're tribal. Ah. You know, it doesn't matter. I just realized this is two split duchies. We'll just conquer the county. That's annoying. We just basically do that for nothing. No. no, no that's not a good target. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I should pick a Ravina, huh? We could afford to lose the fame. He might actually win this war on his own. He's got a lot of allies to call. Okay, we'll accept. We'll accept. What's up, Sneaky Potato? Yeah, we'll just kind of... Yeah, he's going to call all of his allies in, so he'll be fine. Hopefully he calls in more.
Oh, hoo, they won that first war there. That's good. A little, little skirmish. What a peasant revolt, too? Man. Thank you. Deal with your peasant revolt. Well, I could. Now, this gave us also, which is cool. Check this out. Oh, bam. This gave us our holy site. So now we get monthly piety vastly increased in our learning. But this peasant uprising means that a different force will take this over. And then I can just take that over. So what I might actually do is split this army into just levies. And maybe send it down here to help him out. My grandson? No, not yet. <laughs> It would have to be someone who is insular Christian, who is not a ruler. Nephew could be good, although he's in line to take over that. This guy could be good, chaste, humble, and a craven. Anglo-Saxon. I'd like to get more Scots up in this place, man. Increase that Scot action. No more, there's no Scots at all. We only we only have one. Supposing what Saxon it is. Yeah, maybe we just send a small army down here to help out with this. Since he doesn't seem like he's going to be calling anyone else to this war. And I think just like honestly like 1,000 troops will do it. Break this off. Who can just march over there quickly? The court dwarf! Inconceivable! out in this. Maybe just to help out with supplies, we'll go with these guy, one of these guys. Go with you. Send you off. to get there.
All right, the dining hall, the books. These might be great, but there are other areas that I can still help out. All right, all right. Diplomacy, I don't think she's got either of those really in spades. Yeah, diplomacy and she's already doing managing domain. I mean. Now it's time for bed, now it's time for bed. Let's just not push it. <laughs> Ooh, looks like they lost, they lost that war. That fight. You messed the place up. You ruined my library. Um, <laughs> quick goodbye. I'm soon. The rub. Oh man! Whoopsies. Kind of, kind of botched that one, huh? We seem to enjoy our latest feast immensely. You got along quite well. Gregarious indeed. Be gregarious, little boy. Oh, convert faith already, huh? That was pretty fast. Daughter-in-law. No. This giant bishop, dude. I love it. Dude, he's actually really good, too. Damn. Okay, let's convert another faith. I mean, things are going really well. What is our actual... Let's try and keep doing this. Three years, three years, three years. Being raided, are we? Oh, I didn't. No wonder. I was like, man, I'm gonna lose in prestige. Well, I have to come up here and smack that guy around. No, no I want you to go through the land, please. Dude, Valheim is great. I just snuck in and did a quick little raid and leave, huh? All right. Okay. <laughs> that guy can have the jihad. That guy can have the jihad. <laughs> Good lord, he looks terrible. Oh, he's on death's door, too. He's just poor health. He's just poor health. He's an ailing. He's ailing, that's all. Yeah, Angela, it's great, man. I, I love it. We play. We were playing until 2 a.m. last night. Hang on. Go attack, please.
Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know C bet, but I actually really like the graphics. I like that kind of style. Okay. So I think we're just about ready to kind of call it a day here. I'm trying to get this army with this army. Great. Okay. Well, now they'll follow them around and do whatever they need them to do. That's their 775 quality dudes with them now. So that is what I wanted to do. We will now disband that. And we are saving and we're good to go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and roll some credits. Let's give some thank yous out. We have oh, we had a lot of donations here today. So again, thank you very, very much. I greatly appreciate it. Love hanging about in the fog. Oh, dude, I oof, I can't. I'm going to message turn and be like, dude, can we play? 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 <laughs> Thomas, thank you very much for watching, man. Flavius, thank you for watching as well, dude. Let's go through some thank yous we got to give out. Uh, viewer activity. Guys, we also, by the way, we also hit um, 112,000 subscribers today. Oh, I think we, we're about to hit 113. We pushed up pretty fast all of a sudden. So thank you guys very much for watching here today. Let's go through these uh, thank yous here. Avery Powers with a $10 donation opening up our stream here today. So thank you very much, Avery. Piglet with a massive 500 Swedish Kronu, always dropping those big bombs. Thank you very, very much, Piglet. Really, really appreciate it, dude. James Mint swinging in with a $5 donation as well. Castor Oil giving us a $20 donation and a really, really cool um, provocative question saying, have you had any experience or moment that you'll never forget yet because of humor or not just awesomeness when it comes to CK3? And we, hate, we gave you a pretty good answer on that one. Hopefully you enjoyed. Rewinger with a 20 Norwegian Norwegian Kronu. Thank you very much as well. We had some direct to PayPal ones. Let's go through those real fast too. Um, we had ED Sellers dropping in a $5 donation. And I think that that... Oh, we're not paused. There we go. <laughs> I mean, Borzo, that can go die. <laughs> The foggy night didn't happen, all sound except the critter noises was turned off. It was very creepy. Yeah, I mean, but it's also soothing. I listen to the Ultima Online soundtrack when I'm playing with Nick. Great stream, enjoyed the end. Wanting to start a new campaign soon. This may just be the, the inspiration. Well, Sneaky Potato, I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Um, I'm really stoked for whatever or whenever that DLC is. I just, I really want to get up on that. Ooh, Kingdom of Mercy is expanding into Anglia. What's going on? Well, that's just for this down here. We should probably take this out from East Anglia too, though. Like, do a quick little war on them. You get it? And this army down here is... doing whatever it needs to do, I guess. Yes, we need some pressures. Gives us the DLC. Cornwall's under attack here. A, uh... Ooh, ooh, Cornwall. I didn't realize Cornwall had moved up here. But Gwyneth and Cornwall are going, going at it, it seems. But all right, guys, we'll be back here on Tuesday to continue our stream. We'll have a history lesson on Tuesday as well. 
Reckon the DLC might expand on Republics. I was told it was touched on, on in CK2 already. Uh, Piglet, I hope so. I hope we do get a public themed DLC, Republic themed DLC, or at least just an FLC to flesh them out a little bit more. Um, CK2, I know, also had that DLC for Republic, so hopefully we'll get something with it. Um, but yeah, you can't even do anything with them. So I want a DLC to flesh out the clan system more or in the tribal system more because feudal is king. It, like you just want to push to feudal because it allows you to get much better. Um, quality men at arms. So I'd rather go, I'd rather have a reason to stay tribal or clan outside of just mass amounts of levies, right? And even then your levies can kind of get out of control where it doesn't even matter. But I would really like to see something where the clan systems are more fleshed out and the other religions that are not Catholicism are more fleshed out and given a lot more power. Uh, right now they kind of just seem a little bare bones. But alright guys, we'll be back here on Tuesday with another stream and Thursday with another stream. I'm going to be doing a video on Cathay as far as a full army list with lore like I've done before in the past for Warhammer 3, or for Warhammer 2, but now for Warhammer 3. And we will also have our Primark video finally done uh, this coming week as well. So be on the lookout for those two videos, guys. They'll be uh, pretty beefy ones, so I'll be working on those primarily. You won't be see as many smaller videos coming out this week. Just those big chunguses. I will, I will remember, OS. I'll remember, dude. But all right, guys, everyone, please wash your hands. Stay safe out there. Hey, Tater. I love you, too. The Arb tank top. I wish I had a CD Projekt Red tank top. Ben, it's okay, man. We'll be back on Tuesday. Stop till I see them as dukes. <laughs> of course, man. Of course. Don't even worry about it, Angela. Oh, Commander Tank Top. Okay, I thought you said CD. I said, thought you were saying like CD Project Red. But alright, guys. We'll see you on Tuesday for some more streaming to our continuance of Scotland as we make a Britannia. And we're almost there. It's going to be a real big slog as we get into Scotland or into Ireland. But hopefully we'll, we'll be able to do big chunks of land through certain declare uh, certain war declarations that may be able to uh, uh, gobble it up faster. As, as long as we can get Kingdom, the King of Scotland title, we can do all of it really quick in one big massive war. But alright guys, we'll be back here on Tuesday. Have a good one, wash your hands, stay safe, and take care.